Take as many screenshots as you like. All right, that's enough. So, um, get back into it. Yeah, my handsome face. Okay. Yeah, serious notes. Let's get back into it. Um, the last videos I was posting was about Nice culture. What makes Nice culture so unique from the eyes of your boy man NJ to the city Nice ambassador? That's what I was referring to before. So now, what I'm referring to, um, going into it, you know, literally, shout out God bless all my friends. Literally, I love everybody. One was just unashamed. God forgot everything. Why do you think every time I hear, you know, let alone I'm so eager to meet all my friends, brothers and sisters, you know, you know, I'm so shocked to, to, to you know, to hear, oh, this person had a sister, this person had a brother. I'm like, wow, you know, you should have told me because, hey, you know, I, I can go support them too now and so on. Like, it, it's amazing. It's a blessing. To, to to never run out of people to support, never run out of friends to have, and just never run out of conversations, you know, too, you could definitely say. I mean, God first, one was unashamed, you know, and, you know, and I hope that everybody continues to get it, understand it, and thrive with it, uh, and, you know, and so on, because God is good for better and for worse. So with that being said, God bless, you know, all my friends, like, again, God bless all of them. You know, um, and, you know, I, 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 I have the slogan of all my friends are my fans or all my fans are my friends. You know, God bless, you know, my various fans that, you know, fans and friends, you know, you know, or fans <laughs> who are friends who hit me up quite often about the new music, about song titles, song covers um, and, and, you know, you know, and shout outs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just thank you. Because some of the love that I, you know, that again has been vitally reciprocated, again tells me I'm worth it. I'm deserving of it. You know, my life again is worth living, and you don't know how you know greatly it godly helps me once again know that there is again a bright light at the end of my tunnel. Like there's a bright light at the end of your tunnel, and so on. Because like I said, I am a for the most part. 99.9% .9 happy individual, but that doesn't mean that I don't go through my 1% of horror, madness, you know, and, you know, and, 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 and so on. I do. I, I go through it. I literally have videos on this channel that I'm, you know, you know, I'm going to make, make public eventually letting everybody know I've gone through my own, you know, my own storm, you know, we're borderline at times. I don't even know why I'm still here living and alive. But then, like I say, vice versa, when I'm around my community, it just couldn't be more more glorious. I'm extremely thankful for life. You know, I couldn't be more thankful, more blessed. You know, you know, God has just, you know, done, you know, worked wonders, done miracles, or worked the miracles, done wonders. And again, who else can you, you know, think other than him for setting it all up for me in perfect grace? And a few other things that I can name there. But um, the Open Dialogue album, um, if I haven't gone into that enough. Because for all that don't know, um, my the server on my uh, the, the server that I was using crashed last June, if not last May. Yeah. I believe last May, if not if not last June. So what that means is I uh, for now am no longer able to post music, like just regular audio files on YouTube. Uh, not a, not able to do that anymore. So all the mu all my newest music, haven't given up music, never have, never will, never should, never could, uh, is on my um, SoundClouds, Youngling Nation SoundClouds. That is the SoundClouds that um, the music is on, Younglings Nation. So feel free to look up Younglings Nation and feel free to listen to all the new sounds that I have been crafting and that I have been, you know, uh, sounding, dare I say, or the alarms that I've been sounding within the tones that I've been crafting, etc. Open Dialogue album is an album that I definitely think that, especially in the political realm, we need a lot more open dialogue, but it really goes towards, you know, anything, really. Open Dialogue is not specific towards politics whatsoever. It really is towards just human interaction, you know, human decency, and more.
You know, I ain't gonna lie and say that politics, let alone social justice, doesn't, you know, fit a theme of that because it definitely kind of does. But beyond that, just, you know, just rationale and loving thy neighbor as thyself, you know, Bible studies and a few other things, a lot of the things I can name. We need more open dialogue on pretty much everything because we have a broken, hurting world that's not going to fix itself, etc. Uh, and I want people to totally understand, you know, where we're going with this, what we need to do with this, and how we can build off of this. Thank you if I am your leader, you know, through all of this. I try what I can to lead you, you know, God's way, you know, and, and not astray. But I want you to understand, even I sometimes, once again, get things wrong, you know, and, you know, and occasionally do things wrong whether I realize it or not. And every day, the beautiful part about my personality and creativity in my soul is that if I'm aware that I've done things wrong, I am always, dare I say, always on an apology tour. Whether I did something wrong or not, that's one of the top unique things about my character and personality. Even if I didn't do anything wrong, I'm always on an apology tour as if I did do something wrong. Because I always want clarity. I, I stand for class, you know, you know, and I really want everybody to, you know, understand the real me from as many different outlets as possible. You know, outlets, angles, you know, freedoms of speech, you name it, it's possible. You know, I would definitely say I'm very lyrical with things at times. But who am I kidding? I'm a rapper, so it kind of fits the description, doesn't it? But other than that, open dialogue is definitely something that I want everybody to definitely be, be aware of. It's definitely coming very, very soon. Uh, I don't really know when because this is March, uh, still early March, and we have April coming up. So we have draft season. So I don't know whether open dialogue would be would be dropping sometime this March or it will be dropping, you know, vitally sometime next month or sometime during the summer. But I know I have a lot of albums. It's pretty much the same thing I tweeted out. Every album that I didn't drop towards the second half of last year should be dropping this year, you know, because I literally, again, have so much music to share with you all, you know, past, present, and future. I Like I say, this is not just, you know, new music that I have already that you know, you know, you know, created or better yet, this is not just you know new ideas that I keep coming up with every single day for more song titles or more album titles, if you know, and so on. This is also I'm gonna go back into my archive and remake some stuff from three, four years ago, four or five years ago, ten years ago, you know, however long ago that I think I can you know, you know, repolish it again and make it you know better than it was before. I have a lot of different albums from the past that, you know, were good, but they were not great, or they were okay, but they were not good, that I really want to polish them back up to being the best that they can possibly be, you know, with the most fluent lyrics, the most tongue-twisting messages, and the most, you know, character that I can carry throughout, you know, however length of the album that it is. And, and so on and so on. So I don't know when Open Dialogue album will drop, but I definitely know it's definitely dropping, you know, vitally soon. But I definitely know draft season is coming in April no matter what, etc. Uh, I want people to understand that. That's coming no matter what. And that's coming in April no matter what uh, and so on. But I, I look forward to it, you know. And people got to understand, I really can't stick on one album at the same time. I literally work on like four to five, maybe even six, seven. You could even run it up and go ten albums at one time. I never work on one album at, the time, at a time. And or better yet, I never promote one album at a time. I promote like three, four, five different projects at once. Why? Because I'm so musically artistic like that, that it just works for me, you know, because I'm always writing. I'm always, um, you know, re um, not, I'm not even, I'm not gonna say I'm always recording because I'm really not, you know, I'm occasionally recording. But um, which is probably one of the top reasons why I'm so backed up to begin with on my artistry. But, you know, and literally, I've been backed up for years and years. This goes all the way back to middle school, how backed up I am. But as I was saying, you know, uh, I'm always writing, occasionally recording. And the dumb part about it, the ideas are always flowing, though, through my head, through my mind on the next best thing to 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 to, to create and drop. So... Regardless, you're gonna get new projects, you know, let alone regardless, you're gonna get remastered projects. Regardless, you're gonna get the, hopefully the continuous best of NJ to the City's sound, you know, that I can possibly produce and create, you know. Now, I still use the same software, 
you know, as before. Eventually, as time goes on, like I was promoting over the last two years, I will be building my own music studio, my own home music studio, bigger home music studio, etc. Rather than just one piece of equipment, etc. The way it's always been, you know, to where trust me, you're gonna hear, you know. Well, you know, whether immediately or over time, you're going to hear the most polished of sounds. You're going to hear the most fluent of beats. And you're going to hear, you know, did I say everything, you know, does it hear the bass popping through your eardrums? Did I say, if you, if you don't already, pretty much, you know, but I'm going to definitely just keep getting better as I already, you know, one of my slogans is always in refining my rhymes, you know, but not only that going forward. Because the rhymes are always perfect, you know. Always refining the rhymes, but I, at the same time, going forward, I'm always polishing my sound. So trust me, you're just, you're you're gonna get the the most hard hitting of everything that I got, you know. Again, the lyrics always hit as hard as they're ever gonna hit. But the next best thing that I gotta do, is, you know, and, and and finish up slash fix up is you know my flows all my flows because i don't think some people you if you listen to my music for any about any amount of time some of you have said i have no flow some of you said i have choppy flow some of you've said well i have perfect flow i think depending on what song you listen to and or what album off of that song i definitely have choppy flows at times um and so on other songs i have perfect flow all through the song so it really just depends or at least a lot of my past projects it really just depended Hopefully my future project project will be you'll be able to say once again dagger 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 etc because that is what I'm working towards with everything the lyrics are always you know tough the lyrics are always there tough in terms of how I write them tough in terms of they're you know phenomenal they're excellent they're tongue twisters they're you know they make you think let alone they're just me telling my story you know. You know, not tough in terms of I'm intentionally trying to make myself out to somebody I'm not. But I do write competitive, though. Also, no. Um, and so on. And I just want people to always understand that, you know, tough as beef jerky. <laughs> just wanted to, you know, just wanted to, you know, spit that in there. But I do want people to understand, you know, you're going to get the best, hopefully, you know, that I that I can, I have the offer in the in this refined music going forward. And like I've said before, and thank everybody for hitting me up you know, for, you know, song covers and um, album titles and just, you know, and, and, and everything, you know, because keep doing it. I, I want to make music for as much, pe many people as possible, you know, and I'm, guys, my judge witness, too many people on planet earth, but at the same time, I'm willing to, you know, die to meet all of you. So, you know, God ain't going to give me nothing with that that I can't handle. And he knows that I want to help affect and love and just, you know, you know, you know, affect and love, you know, and, and share his everything with everybody. So I, that's why I look forward to getting, going to different schools, sharing with them what's up with me, who I am, what I do. And just let the love pour in. Because that's pretty much what it's doing. You know, it's pretty much what it's doing by now. You know, and I and again, just thank everybody for being a fan of me. Thank everybody for caring about me. Thank everybody for reciprocating this love to me because trust me, we definitely, you definitely, like at times, I don't know how much I've, I've affected you in a positive way. Sometimes I don't. But vice versa, you have no idea how good you've, you, you know, you've affected me because you reminded me that my life is worth living each and every day when sometimes I feel like I'd rather be dead, etc. You know, so by God's grace, I'm not. And, um, and I just keep on living by God's grace and just keep on running it back, you know, to the you know, to the best of excellence of which we can come up with. So, um, yeah, a big part of what that means, like I say, you know, I look forward to, you know, making everybody you know, more music coming soon. Like I say, and again, hit me up if you want a song. Hit me up if you got, and I, you know, and, you know, it, 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 yeah. hit me if you it, if you want a song. Hit me up if you want a shout out. Hit me up if you want um, um, you know, um, um, if you um. Uh, if you want, well, you know, if you got some something you want me to use, use it as a song cover. Hit me up for it all. You know, you know, I'm totally here. Want it? You know, let's learn, learn, let's grow together. Uh, like I said, yeah, all my socials are either NJ to the city or NJ Williams. So hit me up on theirs, and let alone YouTube. And let's just let's just rocket mortgages to the top together, etc. Because similar to what I said in my songs, I'll leave it up to me. On Young League Nation three, I literally, you know, I run a game whether they acknowledge me or not. If you were to purchase ask me, you know, because I know my lyrics, I know my flow, I know my style, I know the meaning of of what I do and the purpose that I have. 
you know, and so on. Numbers don't always dictate to who who's the hottest artist, if you were to personally ask me. Like, in terms of you might be hot by the numbers, but then when you listen to the lyrics, you're like, how in the world is this person famous, etc. You know, you know, so, you know, so I, I bring all of that into, into, into the fold in real time, beautifully through Christ.